don't engage alone. We do this together. <laughs> Somebody clip this one. Welcome to Comics League. I am Jared. I'm here with Nick from the Phoenix Press, and I'm here with Taladia Place. What's up, boys? Well, what can I say? What can I say? Uh, what a what a week, and you know, a couple of days it's been. Yes, it has. What, what, what are we? Some sort of Comics League? Yes, exactly. Thank you. And uh, welcome to a members-only panel. To get to gain access to this, you just have to simply join at any of the tiers, and you aka okay, you have to give us money. Yeah, well, well yeah, and then yeah. we will fork over a link to this panel. So to to get started with our first topic, so it came out that uh, so, so, so someone asked Zach about like completing it as an animated movie. Uh, like completing it as an animated like series of movies probably or like a series and he said sure which i know nick, nick has his own thing about like people saying do you want to do this sure I it for years literally years yeah but let's talk about this for a second because if they did yeah. it animated because here's what this allows for all the actors can come back because i guarantee you they can spare a day or two to go into any recording booth that's anywhere in the world and record mm -hmm. like a, a day's worth of lines plus the fact if it's anim I, I guarantee you if if they continue with the animation guess what you could get the batfleck movie and all the other movies that we have been waiting for animation but still what do you guys think i'll start with nick uh my body is ready yeah <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I, I want super realistic animation if it's done. Yeah, because I've always said, for those of you, uh, because if if Warner Brothers license it to, to Netflix to do the animation, they could do the Love, Death, and Robots thing because if you've seen the animation for that, actually, I'm going to pull it up real quick so you guys can check that out. <laughs> because this is the animation. I thought it was live action. It is that scary good. Like, um... Hang on, because they, they did this one short with Joe Manganiello where he's playing a soldier. And uh, Joe Manganiello. Okay, I'll, I'll try that. I want animation so similar to X-Men 97. You could no, do that, too. No, 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 no. We, no, we do not. No. I, I, I have a good idea, Jared. You know that animation style you showed us you know, a long Here. time ago? Yeah, it's this. Hang on real quick. I just want to show you guys this. So this is basically the the ultra realistic 3D animation we could get. Uh, that's a little bit too realistic, in my opinion. But the reason why I say that, oh, you know, my because, face! Oh dear God! Well, the the reason why I say that is because I feel like it'll be more of a it'll be it would feel like less of a compromise because you can have the characters actually look like Henry Cavill. Okay, here's yeah. the here's the problem with that is animation like that requires a lot of time and a lot of budget, and it can very easily go wrong. Uh, something like this, I would it would be better to take a stylized approach, like okay. heck, even even doing it similar to an animation style like like Castlevania or Tomb Raider, you know the Adi Car stuff. Uh, uh, you know, like I know the stories are the best, but the animation's pretty pretty darn decent. Like I, what I just think a more stylized do? approach would hold up better. They could also do it in the Decamu animated style and just yeah. go with that because that's I would have no problem with that. If they did Decamu, I would have no issue. Obviously, up the budget in terms of like animation style and everything flowing and everything, but in terms of that art style, I think for, first off, I think that art style works for the Snyderverse if we're going to go in this direction. Yes. Yeah. And also, if Sam Liu get, get, gets involved with the production process, I could just shoot him a DM saying, "Hey, come on the show. We'll talk about it." Uh, you know, here's another thing too. Um, I've seen like a good a good buddy of mine, Axel Droger, do fan fan art in that yeah. style. 
Yeah, and, and, and it looks fantastic. You could do that, and you know what? It, you can make it as bloody as you want because guess what? Have you seen Justice League Dark Apocalypse War? Oh, yeah. yeah that's that's the other thing. woman's arm is torn off. That's the other thing. When you have stylized animation, it's a lot easier to be more graphic because people see, oh, it's just stylized animation. Oh, it doesn't look that gory. And you can make it made it off if you wanted to. Yeah, exactly. And you could like do whatever you wanted in there. I mean, we could have Superman say it, say the F word. <laughs> don't, uh, no, in, in terms don't, of don't be a go. James Gunn, Nick. Don't be a James Gunn. <laughs> so uh, I'm super effing man. Uh, Sage says, e e "Evening there, gents. Not gonna lie, I've been thinking for a while that an animated Snyderverse wouldn't be a bad idea. I get that it would be better for live action, but still, some. Let me put it this way: Obviously, I want I want live action. I think all three yeah. of us." Would prefer yes. live action. Is, is yes. am I correct on that? Uh, yes. 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 But in the event where we can't get that, at least right now or ever, honestly, I would take this. I've always said that the Snyderverse will be completed in some way. Animation, comics, whatever. Plus, here's the thing: we could also get comics for this. It, it, it's not like one or the other. And here's another thing too: they could put the animation form. Just imagine, like, uh, beyond the Spider Verse style. Just imagine that uh, for the Snyderverse in theaters, right? It mm -hmm. will make so much money back that people will go and see it regardless, right? They'll say, look, you got Superman, you got Batman, you got Wonder Woman, and kids will go and see it as well because it's kids, right? Mm -hmm. um, but it's but it's like I said, um, I think I think you're right. Like the animation style for um the Dekamu would be ideal, but I think Beyond the Spider-Verse style as well would be really cool too. I mean we've seen it, we've seen that Batman Beyond you remember that Batman Beyond thing that Oh, that, did that you see it? they actually released uh, some test test animation yeah. from it? Yeah, yeah it, it looks really good. good. You could actually do that as a matter of fact. You can make it super comic booky. The thing about that for live action, the only reason why I'm gonna disagree with you, Taladia, is because okay. with Zach's movies. They're very like hyper realistic in terms of what they do. That would work if we were like uh, adapting more comic book style like oh, storyline. Oh, okay. movies. I got a question for you guys. Like this, yeah. Is okay. kind of, um, so let's take the Into the Spider Verse animation style. What yeah. superhero co comics do you think would work really well with an adaptation? Hey, what's of up, Tevia? I think hey, Teen, Ti Teen Titans in the Spider Verse animation style. I think that would be fan freaking tastic. Marvel, no, not, not, not just you yeah. guys. What? Like, no, not just you, but also, um, how about well, besides my team and yard, how about Young Justice? Young Justice, in, in, in you, yeah, game. that, mm. or, or like Nightwing. Nightwing would be cool. Nick, Back you are the Nightwing Nick and um, Spidey, all kind of way. Nick, you uh, are the uh, the uh, n n the uh, Nightwing aficionado of us, so. Uh, what would you think about uh, Nightwing uh, in the Spider-Verse animation style? I wouldn't mind it. Um, I think there's kind of other heroes that, that would work like better for, but it wouldn't it wouldn't be a failure. Yeah, I mean, it, it could work because a lot of that is like, because here's the thing, a lot of Spider-Man's movements is consistent with like Nightwing because he's very much lo like an oh. acrobat, so I feel like that could work. Yeah. Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four. Actually, we'll yes, that could actually. Or Doctor it's... Strange. I've been running one up and then well. four animated something. Well, never that four shit. Besides X Men, I'm Spidey and that four. No, uh, imagine if they did a Spider Man, but it's the '60s, like early Spider Man in the '60s. That would be fun. Swamp Silver thing. Surfer too. That would be interesting. Uh, Swamp and thing. Randy says, as long as it's not the same animation style as my adventure with Superman, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I, I do agree with you on that one. I, I, I actually took Amazon. Yeah, you, you know, we know that. It's Coward Superman in that arc. I know, I know. Yeah, tell yeah. I'm just going to say this. The arc. The no, it, it, no, but it's still, him. it's still him. It's still Coward Superman. <laughs> say yeah. This. Um, yeah. I think they did um, uh, All-Star All -Star Superman, the, the, the movie. I think they did a really good job with the animation there. Superman. Yes, true. Oh, oh, true. Oh, 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 I mean, All Star Superman was a good animation style. I also believe public, uh, not public enemy. Um, well, public, public enemy Apoc and um, Apoc Apocalypse. 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 Yeah, I love it. I the love fun it. part about Apocalypse is that they were actually recreating Michael Turner's art style. So it's like, were. yes, you're right about that. That 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 art style. So, would you, uh, wait, would you, 
Wait, I didn't realize that. I love the movie. Now I love it even more. Yeah, it's literally that. They that's why Batman has like freakishly huge ears. Mm -hmm. I was yeah. not in my ever. Everyone's jacked was jacked in like the the public enemies one because it's Ed McGinnis. Yeah, I was wondering why everyone so had like the fact that oh my god, that movie and the sequel. Well, I think Tavi, you can't interrupt people. Right. Right. Go ahead, Nick. Yes. Okay. So, um, can I ask you a question? Yeah, go ahead. Um, would you mind this art style for the apocalypse? Uh, not apocalypse, or the the Superman Batman apocalypse thing movie style? Would you for for the Michael Turner art style? Let me see. That could see. Here's the. You know what? Now that I think about it, because of the way it handled like darkness and obviously apocalypse and stuff, mm -hmm. that could work. But but here's the thing about that: for something as momentous as Zack Snyder's Justice League continuing the animation, it deserves its own style. Honestly, uh, it, it shouldn't be like imitating another artist's style. Uh, what do you think, Taladia? Uh, I think personally, I think it'd be it'd be cool to have that art style because I think I think it'd be really interesting just to see Dark Side and the Justice just to see the Justice League members in in that format, if you know what I mean, Jared. Mm -hmm. Um because it in the movie itself it was it was very interesting. It brought Dark Side to life. You got to see the boom mm -hmm. tubes and and you know what? What 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 um what makes it really cool It'd be the detail of blood and everything. I can just see it now. You could, mm -hmm. you you could adapt parts of it, like the, adapt the goriness. What 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 do you want to add, Tavia? Yeah, um, I do know I now art style that can work. Um, how about My Hero Academia art style or Dragon Ball? No. See, here's no. the problem with that. This isn't an anime thing. That, True. Because that, that's a very specific. I, I, I see where your head's at, and honestly, mm -hmm. it's not a bad idea. It's just the problem with it kind of has to to fit the like style of the characters in the universe a little more. That's true, yes. But I do know one more studio that can work. Studio Trigger. Who's what Studio they Trigger? Do. They get seven pounds. Please, please, please remember, we're trying to stuff that gets fits it. Please stop bringing up random animation houses. Please, thank no, you. no, 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 Jimmy. That art style actually works. I repeat myself. It does not. Yeah, I wouldn't. No, no. Tomorrow versus art style. First off, tomorrow yeah, versus art style is clunky no. as hell. I, We're I not prefer, yeah, it's clunky. I prefer my animation with th that that's more than three frames per second. Yeah, I agree with you. As much as I like Crisis for the Super Wonder moments, I got news for you. That animation style is clunky as hell, dude. Yeah, it's so, so no, slow. If it's the Snyder verse. I want it to be as perfect, near perfect as you can get it. That's why I brought up like, like the the Takamu because at least in that animation style, it was pretty smooth and fluid. It, it wasn't yeah. like <laughs> Claudia. We we actually got had like a tease for the Takamu. Um, sorry, the, the tease for what Snyderverse would look like in the Takamu version because they did the Apocalypse War, right? Mm -hmm. And if you just think about it, Jared. They took elements from the Snyderverse and yeah. put it into that film, right? So, just saying, Jared, we kind of had like a little snippet of tease there of what the we funny, could have. The mm -hmm. funny we part need is to that cancel the the dark side apocalypse. Yes, the yep. funny part about that is, so that came out like a couple of months before the Snyderverse was announced. So when that happened, so I watched the movie, and then I'm reading the the description of what happens in the Snyderverse, and I'm like. And I'm like, wait, what? Because it's it's very similar, but yeah, like, exactly. Because like, you could go with that level of blood. Hmm? They're like, hey, Zach, uh, can I borrow your homework? Yeah, just, <laughs> just change a few things and make sure nobody notices. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, uh, yeah, Americans are not a lot like the Japanese. Manga and anime are based on skinny people in Japan. I can tell you right now that 90% of comic book nerds outside a handful of people could care less about manga. Well, here's here's a dirty little secret that, that us comic book fans don't like to admit. Currently, the manga fans, 
vastly outnumber the comic book fans by yeah. an order of, of probably three to one. We are the minority in this industry, okay? Mm-hmm. Most, like, if you look at the sales numbers for manga, Dogman outsells all of American comics combined. Mm-hmm. Well, that's American, but, like, manga does. What's up, Tevia? Yeah, um, she just kind of lied about it, but I said, you know, I, you know one more art style that can work. Use the argument art style. From okay, Arkham. that could work. Mm-hmm. That could work. Is that Assault on Arkham? Yep. That and could also, work. Also, I'm just going to say this. So I love his name. Yahtzee! Yeah. yeah, that could work. <laughs> that could 100 but I, I would love to see that. Because yeah. that gets, the, like, the darkness, It's and, and it's and the animation style, honestly, and that is actually pretty, like, It's wow. amazing. And he's yeah. and fan of Batman and the Argon fan. Now, it fits the Argon even better than Super Mario Kart, which I know you, you like the game. I respect that. And Thank I, you. I Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know, I mean, I like the game. But this game feels more like the Argon version than Super Mario Kart to be. And if, if you take the art style and transfer it to Zack Snyder to be, it can work. I'd love yeah. that would be a Super Nintendo art style. It won't, that it won't would not work, work for the Snyderverse. For the Snyderverse, no. No, no. it won't, it won't work. N- not, 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 for, not for Snyderverse. This art style would work for yeah. my favorite. Because here's the thing. That works. The the Super Sun's art style works if it's like a sort of like a juvenile k- character. And yeah. By juvenile, I mean like John and, and John like Damien and, and all. Yeah. Teen Titans. It would work for Teen Titans or a Young yeah. Justice movie. But yeah. with Zack Snyder... No, yeah, no, 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 that's like no, saying no, no. that's like saying let's do 300, but in Caillou animation style. That's not how old I am. By the way, I kind of want someone to draw that. That would be funny. I, 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 I see that. That would be so freaking good. And uh, so Brown funny. says manga readers are not superhero fans, Americans, so their opinion does not matter all that much. Yeah, but a lot of yeah. Americans are shifting toward manga as opposed well, to superhero. That's, that's the yeah, problem. Yeah, here's the thing. Like, among the younger demographics, manga is king. And yeah. there is, first off, there is crossover between uh, comic fans and manga fans. And when manga is out, is we're selling peanuts, uh, we're selling peanuts, they're selling manga by the truckloads. So when yep. they are vastly outselling us, manga is doing something right. We are doing something wrong. That is a fact. I got news for you. Here's one of the things, and I said this in my Ultimate Spider-Man video. Manga and like Marvel pays attention to what the fans want. DC is like, no, we're sticking with Lois Lame. No, <laughs> they, they don't get because here's the thing. For some reason, these companies don't understand that. Like, I, I-, I guarantee you, if like keep DC the. Uh, the if DC and to a lesser extent Marvel, I say to a lesser extent because Marvel has started to pay attention to what the fans want, i.e. Ultimate Spider-Man. If yeah. if DC pays attention to what the fans want, they could easily out outpace everyone. Because I because I, I, I've long maintained DC has the better characters. It's just the mm-hmm. problem is they're not being utilized correctly. Yeah, like for example, you know, with Tindra Lovin and oh god, what they did to Tindra Lovin pissed me off. Like why? It pissed Chuck. Gets it off. Uh, we know because Nick and I asked him about it when, when we interviewed him. Yeah, it was pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. The John Stark is sad. Second, like the ten Drake Robinson. Like, that picture I need more. Mm-hmm. Both didn't piss me off. I mean, the fact that they made him like bisexual just like says they couldn't commit to anything. Because Jared, tell me what happens. What? Why do comic book people make a character bisexual? You said it before. Say it again. So the way bisexual works in the in the comic book industry is that they they really mean gay. The reason why they say bisexual is because if the fans reject it and it's not popular, they can always go back on it. Oh, Tim's back with Stephanie. We didn't say gay. We said bye. Yep. That's then, why. He, That's then, a dirty then secret. Just, and then, like, the, like the, and then, like, he'll just, oh, I, I forgot. I'm in, I'm in the, the same sex. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Sage Torres says, preach. I hate how they waste some of the very best DC characters, especially in live action. Mm-hmm. Well, here's the thing. All they had to do with the live action is just stay away. Don't interfere with what Zach was doing. Mm-hmm. You were good. Because if the Snyder Cut came out, obviously cut down because there's no way they would release a four-hour movie. Three yeah. hours is pushing it, but the point is, if they released half of that movie, mm-hmm. actually, that's what they could have done. Divide into half and just 
I'm convinced DC would be in a uh, DC would have outpaced Marvel. It's a, it's a Talada. You had your hand up first. Yeah, so I was gonna say, imagine if DC put Justice League, just the Justice League film in two parts for the first film. Yeah, and then Justice League two and three as like two parts as well. Like yeah, just a, that would have you can expand it and get people that, talking. Yeah, that would. Yeah, I, well, you're you're talking about movies. like eight movies there. Like that's the problem is you're no. talking about like like nine Actually, movies. Nine like, movies. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know, like, if, if you're putting each part into two, like, three parts, two, let's split them into two parts each, like, just sleep like part one, part, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Am I getting I mean, this wrong? Actually, yeah, you, I mean, see, here, here, but but here's what you get with that. You get the, the fans talking about it and, like, theorizing but about it and engaging so. with that's it. too much. That's too much, though. So. Right. Okay. Like, 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 if you want to do a part one, two, or three, that's fine. But part one, part one, part two, part two, you know, like yeah. segmenting it so drastically, it's just, just not going to work. Mm -hmm. What do you want to add, Tavia? Yeah. Um, being played right, but I just want to watch it. And then, uh, wait. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah. Um, being watching, um, being played right, but that, but same time, though, I think, you know, it's not just going to be ready release in, in theaters. And, and I must have watched it for a while because I would see in theaters that's not happening. No, and no. I think the best part to end Zack and Jerry part one will be to end it when they defeat Steppenwolf. But yeah. then dark side for me and Jerry's you know, like, 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 very Just long video to always Cut it off there. Cycle. You can even end it after the scene of them, like, on top of the uh, of, of the silo. Yeah, and then the, 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 the group shot, that's the last shot. And then the next movie starts there. You, Yeah, in other words, that there were ways for them to Added ZSJL down. Obviously, probably what they would have done is release the four hour cut on like the Blu ray yeah. because that's what Zach always does. He did Zach that with Watchmen. Yeah. Yeah, so do that. Movie. And then that way you, you still release the full director's cut, but you also have the version for theaters. Now, yeah. the problem is you have to be careful about what you take out because with BVS, yeah, you took it out, but you took out very important you plot got points. Two important scenes and points in that movie. Yeah, uh, Atchison says, I know it won't happen, but Batman needs to be put on the bat burner for at least a decade. That ain't happening. Yeah, that's that, not happening. Yeah. That's not that's not happening because Warner Brothers like to milk the franchise, as, as they so called say it, because they know I mean, Batman that Batman makes money, else. So, like, I got yeah. news for you. Do you know why Tom King was kicked off the Batman book? Why? Did he get lost money? Kind of. It's because Hulk was outselling Batman. Oh yeah, Immortal wow, Hulk. That's, that's Hulk. Hulk. Yeah. It was the Immortal Hulk runs. It was good, but yep. still, Hulk. Yeah, the Immortal Hulk run is probably the best run he's gotten in decades. So good. It was like, like wow. Decade. And they have an that. omnibus at my local comic book store. I keep looking at it. I'm like, I want it. I'm like, that's cool. I'm like, Eric, <laughs> you need it. You need it. I'm yeah. kind of like, next time I go, I'm like, oh, I really want this thing. <laughs> You need it, yeah. Jared. You need it. I want it. But uh, real quick, I'm going to get caught up in some comments. Did DC or the Master of Superheroes animation? I would love an animated film of what would have been Nightmare. Yeah, that would be really cool. Be Plus cool. a more mature the um, uh, um, more mature animated series for the Nightmare timeline. Plus you can also flesh that out in other animated projects. Like mm -hmm. what was one, what was Aquaman do? Uh, 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 like what you could do is that after the Zack Snyder stuff, you could have someone else come in and do a story of, 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 of what happened in those five years between ZSJL two and Nightmare? What, what do you want to say, yeah. um, uh, uh, Tavia? He has hand up first. Yeah, um, Betty, you, you could do a Apocalypse War, but expand more a story of, of the Resistance. Going yeah, the exactly. Side. That's exactly what, what what I'm saying because there's so much story you could tell with that. Um, yeah. What, what do you want to say, Taladia? What art style would you rather prefer, the Dikamu version or the one they showed the Teen Titans go? Which was the you remember that? Dream okay, you know what? Yeah. I'm gonna bring that up because honestly, if that was the animation style, I think that could actually work. Zack Snyder's Dean Titans. Would you would you want that art style? I would want that. that. I would want that. I would want that 100. percent So let me pull it up. I'm gonna <clears throat> pull up the image here. If you don't screw mm -hmm. it, I'll I'll mute it and then pull it up on YouTube. Okay. Yeah, all right. So. And so, Nick, l l let me tell you this. Imagine this as the art style for Zack Snyder's J Justice League animation. 
So it's muted, so you're, you're not going to hear anything. Oh, okay. yeah, that's cool. Just look at oh. this. Isn't this good? Okay, they were very much clearly inspired by Snyder. Yeah, well, well, this is the Zack Snyder special episode. Oh, yeah, I forgot they did this. But oh. But see, I see, I would like this. This is solid Dang. animation style for it. I love yeah. it, too. It looks amazing. Yeah, so if we I love, how, that, I love I love how Darkseid got defeated by a metal pole. <laughs> he got defeated by a stick. Just right you just got stuck. But, um, you honestly... Just got oh, by a smooth Robin. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think of the Invincible art style? I love that works for Invincible. I like it. I like it. I like it. It works for Invincible. Honestly, yeah. uh, 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 I keep getting you too confused. <laughs> Taladia. Taladia. Yeah. Yes. To answer your question. Yeah. If that were the art style, I wouldn't. Be, I would have zero problems with that because that looks great. Randy says a while ago, EVS said comic book industry lost two generations of readers to manga. I believe it's over uh, reliance on nostalgia. Yeah. Hence rebirth. In, in anime. rebirth. Marvel did it well with that. That Marvel now. Well, yeah, all new, all different, and all, all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm surprised well, that the MCU the thought it was a good idea. To repeat that, I'm like, well, this failed the in the comics. Yep. Here's the biggest problem with comics, okay? For 15 years, they had the greatest marketing opportunity in the history of, of the universe. Just yeah. Like the yep. MCU is the MCU is the Star Wars for Gen Z, okay? Yeah. First and foremost. Yep. And you had the ultimate marketing opportunity, and they they squandered it as about as badly as you could possibly squander it. Mm -hmm. um, they, they literally changed like they changed up all the characters. Like, oh, I want to read about I, like you had a you, you have a twelve year old girl going to comics. So I was like, I want to read about Tony Stark. Oh no, we have Riri Williams. Okay, I want to read about Bruce Banner, the Hulk. Oh no, he isn't the Hulk. We have uh, Amadeus Cho. He's totally awesome. How about like, Jane uh, Foster Thor? Who? Yeah, what? I know. I'm like, uh, girl, uh, now, to, to be clear, now? to be clear, I read that run. It's mm -hmm. it's entertaining at least. It's not bad. The hey. problem is, mm -hmm. it came out the very wrong. Uh, I'm with Nick. It came out the worst time you can ever do that because, because again, imagine that it's like because you imagine how many more readers Marvel would have if the comics reflected the freaking movie. I, I guess we'll say. The idea of her getting into Valhalla for for dying, battling cancer. I really like that message. Yeah, I really I'm like, like okay, it. I'll yeah. give you that. I really like it. Mm. Yeah. Yep. What do you want to say, Tavia? Yeah, um, but not just Jane Bond and Ford. Jane Bond and Ford, I love that one. Because that one, Texas Speaking, started before Secret Wars happened. And it was still considering after Secret Wars. But beside that, there's also another game we man. Captain Falcon. Falcon punch! Oh yeah, F uh, Falcon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, J Jane being worthy of the owner is one that. It's not. See, the dumb part was Jason Aaron's explanation because he was like, "Oh no, Thor's the mantle," and I'm like, "Since when?" All right. Wait a second. Right. You don't get to, to, to haphazardly say it's a mantle. It tended Jared, to let me do it. Do I need to bust out my famous right. rant? Go ahead, Nick. Rant. <laughs> All right. If you look at the inscription on Mjolnir, it says, Ye whoever wields this hammer, mm -hmm. if they be worthy, shall be worthy of the power of Thor, <laughs> not become Thor. Because if you like, for example, when Captain America, when he wielded Mjolnir, did he become Thor? Captain no. Thor. Did he have the Captain powers of, did he have the powers of Thor? Yes, he could do the lightning, he could wield Mjolnir, and that's great. But he didn't become Thor. Yep. Yeah, and, and, and that's the stu That was the stupid part. Is his, is his explanation? And I'm like, mm, stop it. If, if DC made an anime, an anime block like Marvel did, well, they kind of. Uh, they tried well, it. He's asking about what, what do you think of the Suicide Squad anime? They're trying to. If that's successful, great. They started to really go into like anime stuff with like the, that Catwoman, Batwoman movie, which I'm like. That should have been a bad cat movie. That should have been a bad because it, it's cool. Mm -hmm. I, and they lose me the minute they're fighting giant T Rexes. I'm like, what? 
Wait, I have a T-Rex. That T-Rex. I don't remember that having a movie. No, but it, it, basically what happens is that Catwoman and Batwoman parachute into this building. They fight these guys that mutate into giant monsters. And I'm like... Oh, yeah, giant mechs. Yeah. No, it was legit flesh monsters like Resident Evil. And I'm like... Yep. What? <laughs> and then they, they fight Cheetah. And somehow don't get their asses kicked. And I'm like, that's a Wonder Woman villain. That's not even a Batman villain. What are you no, doing yeah. here? At least I would fight the Court of Owls. That would make remotely some sense. But here's the thing. The main no, villain no, no, is no. um no, uh, no, 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 They wanted yeah. they wanted a cat on some cat on cat action. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh Taladia. I was gonna say two things. Firstly, one at a time talking. Yeah. And second thing is, is that bringing it back to animated to the Snyderverse, yeah, I think please. what would be what would be really cool is for them to to do to do to just to say, look, you know what? Let Zach finish his story in animation, but put it in the box office, put it on the big screen, IMAX or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. And oh, opening day for me. Yo, oh, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Open, Immediately, open. we're we're doing oh, oh, it. Opening day. Yeah. But here's the thing, Zach gets to put as much as he can into these films. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he, there's no like whatever WB- he's able to. Here's the other thing about animated is that we can get it practically now because it won't require that much of a time commitment, not only from the actors but from Zach. Because remember, he's working on Army of the Dead and Rebel Moon. He's he's busy. I would mm-hmm. like. I- I like to think that if they gave him the opportunity, he would put it on on temporary hold to to um to, to finish this. But honestly, animation is the best. Way. Animation or comic books, but I would prefer animation because it's moving. I think mm-hmm. that really, if we're animation, it's the best way for it because it requires the least amount of time commitment for from Zach. Uh, what do you want to say, Tavia? Yeah, you're you're right about that. Actually, because animation takes time, and I'm not saying you can take all the time in the world. And you don't have to let, let the part out, out the door. And for love of God, at the end, for love of God, that you be. Don't let the anime. I don't want another spy visit. I got these movies moving on, but the anime is. Oh, they got, they got, they kind of got out of school in the situation. But that's mm-hmm. not that But I want the anime to take their time. I take their time with, with, with the anime standards. Take their yeah. time and don't rush them. If you rush it, that's bad. Because we all know how bad animating goes. Oh, well, yeah. Nick, oh. Nick, did you know that that whole chase scene in Spider Verse took them four years to animate? Yeah, I, I did read that. Like, I mean, four yeah. years. Kind of. Did you did you hear that uh, the, the last movie has been un, been put on hold indefinitely? Yeah, mm-hmm. but Randy mm-hmm. says an animated Snyder Verse is the best way to r- rub in the haters' face. But <laughs> here's the funny part: you could tell that because another thing that like the haters say is it'll never be like the DC animated universe, and I'm going to be like, guess what? It is no. the DC animated universe now. <laughs> yeah, it won't be the DC universe. It'll be better. Yeah, it'll be that because there won't be inv- uh, the, the other addendum I have on this, and I said this in my Batman stream is for the love of God, don't involve Bruce Tim. No, no, you got nope. Bruce. Tim. Nope. Well, not to Bruce Tim, Paul Dini as well, and so I created it. Paul Dini can come, but mm-hmm. Bruce Tim, no, absolutely not. He will have Batman in an inappropriate relationship with Batgirl. Which, by the way, Batgirl is well, Batgirl 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 Yeah, Actually, well, Vice President Malone, that's actually not a bad idea. I could see that. Mm-hmm. Solomon Grundy is a Superman. He's a Batman villain. What are you no, talking he's about? a Batman villain. No, he's a, he's a Batman villain. Yeah, he's a Batman villain. Eh, he's kind of a DC villain. Well, well yeah, here's no, the thing. Here's the thing. thing. Batman. Mini rant. Who cares what villain this guy is? Because here's the thing. <laughs> I'm sick of people saying Batman can't fight Deathstroke because he's a Teen Titans villain. I'm like, who cares? Just have Death a cool Stro- story where villains fight. It, what De- the difference mean, does it make? Deathstroke, <laughs> is a, Deathstroke is a general, like, I mean, uh, like that, that's like saying, oh, Daredevil, da- Daredevil can't fight Kingpin. He, he's a Spider-Man villain. Frank Miller is like, I, I don't care. Bring him over. Well, well, remember, <laughs> Deathstroke has beaten the entire Justice League at once. Let's not remember that. Yep. He f- beat the Flash. I always say, say this line because it's my favorite thing he's ever done. He beat the Flash. I think it was Wally at the time. Yeah, Wally. Uh, Deathstroke yeah. beat the great. Justice League. Yeah. With equipment built in a cave with a box of straps. Well, all he no. did is that 
So he had studied the joystick for so long, and he knew what what like angle the flash was going to come at. Him. So he literally just stands there and just holds his sword out, and the flash ran into his sword. Yep. The, I, I love the way he gets away from Superman. He just threw green rocks at him, and knew Superman would think it's kryptonite. Sage says, uh, "Bruce Tim loves his animation style, but I'll never understand the, his fixation with Bruce and Barbara. No one will ever understand that." So, it's so not I as the villain, villain, but oh, really? I didn't know that. Sometimes he is Hulk level. Sometimes even Batgirl can beat him. I'll, it depends. Yeah, sure, a lot of yeah. a lot of groups can beat him. It, 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 just like Isekai. Yeah, I could, no. that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Two thousand four, the Batman style. Like a Snyderverse? Yeah. Maybe. I, I don't. I don't think that'll work for the Snyderverse. No. Honestly. Yeah. No. Young Justice art style? Oh no, that would work. I, I I don't want. Uh, well, actually, Young Justice art style. That would work if we were trying to like pity it a little bit. See, yeah. the way the way I always thought of the Young Justice art style, it's a more like younger version. Uh, it's a version for for more younger viewers of the Decamu art style. Because if you look at the yeah. two, they're very similar. Yeah, they they link to each other. Yeah. So I'll, and plus a lot of the designs start to echo. Like you remember the last season of Young Justice. That See Wonder Woman design looked exactly like the Takamu Wonder Woman. I never that, noticed it before. I never I'll before. pull it up. I'll pull it up and I'll show you. Because th- when I saw this, I paused and I was like, what am I watching? Did I watch the one, the wrong thing? Young Justice Wonder Woman. It, it was the biggest mind F ever. I was like, what? Yeah. Okay. So, actually, Tavia, I'll ask you. What? What universe does this look like? Um, that's Young Justice. No, no, no. I mean, but it's the Young Justice design for Wonder Woman. What other version of Wonder Woman does this look like? Here, here's a better look. What? The Camu. Oh, sure. That is the Camu. It's literally that except recolored. I'm like, I like that. I think that that, that should be a Wonder Woman costume at one point, yep. but I like that. What you going to add to Ladia? The Young Justice animation style from season one and season two is straightly from Justice League Doom, if you don't yeah. know. Mm-hmm. That's a straight. That's a straight. That that's straight up. Um, but what when they changed it to look more like the Decamu, I I started to notice that as well. I'm like thinking, maybe the Decamu would work, but I I think from the later you, seasons, I think is the yeah. if you want to go with the uh, with the Young Justice art style. The later seasons are where it would work. Yep. Scene three, scene four. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Atchison. It's literally her Decamu look, except except uh, di- uh, um, differently covered. Colored. Yeah, and um, given on it. Ba- basically, Bruce Tim always wanted to. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. That the, really? that that describes a lot of creative d- decisions uh, Bruce Tim's made. Um, Sage says, what I don't know is if animation could work, 3D animation could work for the Snyderverse. No, honestly, if it has to go live action, it works better for 2D. I get what you're going with, but see, you know, Green Lantern and Brewer the Batman would not, for for what Zach wants to do, Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Bruce Tim's another problem that he's too Batman obsessed to to nerf Superman and make him weak as F. Yeah. Yeah, or make Wonder Woman into Hawk Girl because he thought Wonder Woman was one note. Yeah, true story. What'd you want to add, Tavia? Yeah, um, I thought the whole bit of 3D animation for Snyder, but that won't work. But Green Lantern, it looked fantastic. I love Green Lantern show, was right? great. That's my that's one of my favorite um animated series. Yeah, ever. Bruce Timothy helped help me in that show as well and show him being awesome. But but Batman, no, be right about Batman animation did not work with 3D. That annoyed me. And why? Like Batman did not work with 3D animation. Green Lantern was the anime, if that makes sense. Batman, not so much. And taking through the animation itself in general, it's very hard to pull it off and make it good. The only time it worked, right, it was Super Sound, and that's about it. It was that, that movie. Wait, after yeah. the animation? No. That, that won't work. Not, not this time. 2D animation, yeah. basically all my stuff is not a verse. Dave yeah, says, I noticed a lot of similar character designs with the new season of Young Justin and Camo. Probably use the, the same overseas animation studio to, um, and designs to save money. Well, the yeah. designs are by an artist named Phil B- uh, B- Barraza, and he does a, like a lot of DC stuff. Yep. And he does. Yeah, I mean, he, let's, he's let's the, be honest, mm-hmm. like Sam, Sam Liu said how, how much of a budget crunch they had. Uh, like, you reuse it, reusing uh, model sheets, 
Like you, you could totally see that happening. Plus, there was a time skip between the the previous season and the one where they were in those costumes, so it makes sense that they would have changed costumes at one point. So I'm like, and plus, superheroes change costumes all the time. So I'm like, oh, okay, I, I, I was fine with that. As a fan of the Decamu, I was like, yes, please. So that's kind of it. I may use this for a fan fiction later, but uh, all right. So let's transition yeah, yeah. to our. So um, Taladia actually wanted to bring yeah. something up. So um, we want to talk yeah. about all the things from C Cinema Con, like Sonic the Hedgehog, yeah. Fighting yep. Shadow, Wolverine. Wolverine. Yeah. Wolverine. Yes. Can so, we get a transition? Yeah. So just do the transition. Oh yeah, sure. And, and, and then Taladia, you can go ahead and start. Okay, so guys, CinemaCon is currently happening right now, and they just announced a bunch of things, including Thunderbolts, have got official title, uh, and Kevin Feige came on stage and talked about Deadpool and Wolverine. They showed a little clip at the at CinemaCon, but obviously we don't we don't get to see it. That's a shame. Um, but apparently he said it's effing awesome. I'm not going to swear on stream because I'm trying to keep it PG. Why, thank you, sir. Fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. Thank you. Um, also, uh, what was also shown at CinemaCon is the Transformers film, the next one. Uh, yes! Yes! Uh, they showed a little... Like, I think it was And we have something. a picture of, of um, Harrison Ford and Anthony Mackie in Captain America. Ooh. All right. I am sharing this right now, and this is by Entertainment Weekly. So what then? Wasn't that movie delayed for 25? Yeah, but apparently it's still coming out, so there you go. Nice. I like how they gave him basically Steve's suit. Yeah. But I'm like, that's kind of cool. And Captain Falcon. Good. Yeah, exactly. Red Hulk, baby! An animated yeah. Aliens vs. Predator movie. That could be fun. I would yeah. love that. I want that movie. Well, they can't do it in live action, so they got to figure out one way. All right. Yeah. TMNT, The Last Ronin, is getting an animated movie. No, no, no it's, not, it's not animated live action. Uh, uh, it's like, okay. Here's my problem with it. Go it's on. produced by Walter Hamada. Yeah. And I'm like, we went through this already! <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, I'm, like, I'm sorry. Like, okay. TMNT worked, and then the original TMNT movies worked in the in the nineties because they had actual turtles. But nowadays, they just have like crappy CGI, and it's just not the same. Yeah. And Jared, you better play that clip because you said his name. Ah. <laughs> yep. Hear the cry. Why did you say that name? Uh, uh. <laughs> Walter, you suck. <laughs> oh my gosh it's uh, i posted this in the nicotina group chat i'm like if only there was another comic book ye universe that he progressively messed up oh wait he did it, it has mean, the d and the c right next to it i mean it, it, yeah. it's, it's a classic reducer move you're ruining one comic book universe you attach yourself to another i mean look what amy pascal did yeah exactly exactly Which, by the way that's that's also kind of a deserved uh yeah, it, it is very deserved. So, all in all, I, I mean, so I, I'm going to go around the panel, and I'll, I'll start with uh, Taladia. Uh, yes. I, I, actually, I'll start, and then I'll go to Taladia. Okay. What are your all's favorite, uh, like, announcements from CinemaCon? Ignoring Marvel and DC. Personally, for me, it's the Transformers G.I. Joe movie, because I'm like, yes, they're doing the comics. If they do it half as good as they did in the comics, yes. How about you, Taladia? For me, it has to be Deadpool and Wolverine, um, ah. with the fact that, with the fact that you know, there's not only is it gonna they showed a clip there, but the fact that they revealed it's gonna be really awesome. And furthermore, it's like they're setting up something really big, special with that film. I, I have a really good feeling about that, especially especially considering they need to rebound from the dismal thing that they've had over the last few movies and whatnot. This is this is the perfect rebound for them, and they're bringing back Hugh Jackman. So it's like, so it's a great thing. We got Hugh Hell Jackman yeah, back. Bob. Did you need to call me Bub? Yeah, I did. I'm being Wolverine, uh, dude. What you gonna do about it? Yeah, exactly. That thing, I, I yeah, love that in thing. X Men Origins Wolverine. This is about the only time I'll compliment that movie. When he's fighting Blob, and Blob goes. 
did you call me Blob? He goes, no, I called you Bob. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot yeah, to mention. Funny. I forgot. I forgot to mention as yeah. well. There was that Superman logo thing at the CinemaCon. We'll talk and... about that on CLD tomorrow. But yeah, all in all, yeah. I'm not impressed because you can't take the Kingdom Come as and just play the play the not impressed clip. You have to play not impressed. Actually, clip. yeah, that's uh, that's actually a perfect clip. Do I still have it? On? Mm -hmm. I should still have it on here. Ah, yeah. here we go. Not impressed. I love that clip. It's so badass and awesome. Yeah, yeah yes, it is. Thank you. So, Nick, what were a few uh, of the announcements that that got you hyped up? I mean, I wasn't really tuned into that stuff uh, pretty much. That's kind of your guys' thing. But, like, to hear him, like, the Wolverine breaking the fourth wall, that was kind of cool. Like, I've never been much of a Transformers or G.I. Joe fan, so that's kind of, like, whatever for me. But, hey, if you guys are uh, excited for it, then I am too by proxy. I mean, so we do have Sonic again. Sonic versus yeah. apparently so so Team Sonic. What did they announce? The so what? Well, uh, well, yeah, we knew he was gonna fight Shadow. So I'm just gonna no, it's just, I, I, it's just, I, I, I like all the updates I get on that because again, Shadow's my favorite character in the Sonic universe. Really? I love Shadow too. He's my favorite kid. Well, he's such an edge lord. I think I'm yeah, a Snyder not, fan. It kind of comes with the territory. Huh. Shadow the Hedgehog, directed by Zack Snyder. Oh, hell yeah. They make it like no, that game. Like no, no, no. That. no. T Tavia, hear me out. They make it like that Shadow the Hedgehog game where everyone has guns. Oh, no, my I, God. I can't think of what Snyder's style if you know what you're doing. Anymore. I'm just waiting for them to announce who is voicing Shadow. That's what I'm waiting for. Watch it be Hayden the... Christensen, and then everyone makes Star Wars puns. So you happy. underestimate my ultimate power. Dave, Dave. The new Superman logo looks like a health power up you would pick up in a 2000 <laughs> video game. <laughs> oh, God. Watch. James Gunn will have him Gunn take off wrong. the S and throw it at people. Yeah, get back and um, No, no. Me. He does it and he, go, he goes all Sailor Moon on him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. J Joker 2. Yeah, they, they played the, the Joker 2 trailer, which looks interesting. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I still have not watched it. What? I still have not watched the Joker 2 trailer. I'm... At least watch? We'll, we'll, we'll watch it before tomorrow so we can uh, talk about it for CLD. Mm -hmm. All right. But uh, so, so Tavia, wh wh what announcements that that came out of CinemaCon got you the most excited, even though it, it didn't have Super Sons in it? Yeah. I had to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I meant that one to see it. I was not negative with that. But um, I think the thing that uh, thing I never seen with Con, I did like, but again, I stayed in tune to depending on you know, what's happening. But I think my favorite thing that I announced was the last Orange stuff, even though I don't like it being live at time. It won't be animated. It's because animation is probably a lot of that one. And because I own that book, I love that book for a minute. I want that animation. But besides last Ronin, um, I think another thing I like was the Superman logo, which I know that could begin. I know we get that logo with 50 50, but I'm still very intrigued about that movie. But other than that, I think that the only upside for CinemaCon because all I think CinemaCon that I did hurt there was the Saw 10, no, Saw 10, Saw 11 got delayed. That's fine, I'm fine. They, they really belong with that movie. Um, Captain Man was interesting to me, but in the damn looks like a devil will green. That's the thing I'm excited with the most. But By the I, way, oh. I just found a description of Captain America Brave New World. So let's, uh, so I'm going to read that and you guys re react to it. Uh, I'll read the whole thing and then we'll, we'll, we'll discuss it. So they acknowledge Ross looks different. Ross wants to rebuild an Avengers team. Sam and Joaquin, uh, 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 Joaquin was essentially his sidekick from Falcon Winter Soldier. Uh, went on on a successful mission. The president is proud. Isaiah Bradley ends up possessed in the Winter Soldier uh, brainwash style, uh, tossing Sam and a table at people, sh shooting out world leaders, and even jumping out a window to flee. The action is gritty. It looks quite fantastic at CinemaCon. So they actually f fixed all the action. Ooh. So Winter Soldier stuff. I'm like, okay, that's it. But why Isaiah? Oh, Isaiah Bradley is the other super soldier. Okay, I can kind of see that. That actually mm -hmm. kind of cool. So, so they're basically implying that the super soldier is uh, serum is hereditary. No, Isaiah Bradley w was the older gentleman. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. he was. That's kind of weird. No, well, he, he, Jared, now I'm with this one. Because you know, Isaiah Bradley was technically the second 
Captain America after Steve Rogers was well in full yet. I mean, I, I get all that. I'm just like. The, the problem with it is like, I mean, it, I don't think it would be hereditary, but the problem with it is like, they kept saying that they wanted like the Young Avengers, and they have the opportunity to put in the Young Avengers, and they don't do it. Why? Like, it's not that hard. It's easy. But, but here's the thing, though, Tevia. Because Thunderbolts they're not... is their Suicide Squad. Thunderbolts. Yeah, exactly. Is their suicide squad. Here's the thing: they're not going to do a Young Avengers movie because there's not enough people that to, to ju- that would come see the movie to justify a a uh, Young Avengers movie. Oh, that's not fair. Did, well, if they did that, then how come? Well, they teased it at the Marvels. No, th- 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 that's been the problem with the uh, MCU. They keep teasing stuff and then not following through on it. Yeah. I highly it's doubt they're going to do DC that. DC with its stuff. Like DC, they teased stuff in the future and we got nothing. Well, it, it, that's because of Walter Hamada. Hence why too, I'm, a yeah. little, I'm a little concerned about TMNT. So Same. That's just I'm just going to last loading. Even fan-made Superman logos is way better than Super Guns. <laughs> yeah, that's actually really funny. That's actually a good a good point. Uh, no. Is is Batman going to show up in Joker 2? No. No, because it's not taking no. place that long after Joker 1, and he was a kid in Joker 1. Yeah, he yeah, was. I do, I do think Batman will show up in the Penguin, though. I, I do believe that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. Fair, I, I think even Reeves said that Batman is going to show up in, as the Peng, uh, in the, as the Penguin. That would be a sight. In, in the uh, Penguin. Geez, <laughs> the penguin show, not Joker. A uh, Pengy. So, now we're going to conclude with some comic book discussions. So, I'll go around the panel, and then we'll talk about what comics we are reading about. Uh, why is WB obsessed with the Suicide Squad? Teen Titans is way more popular. Because James Gunn is running DC at this point. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. currently, what I am reading... So, I've been reading a lot of um, the Rebel Moon comic. It's actually pr- pretty good. I've enjoyed it. Mags keeps her politics out of it. So, I'm like, there you go. Well, that's surprising. Uh, someone's someone's reading her in. Good job. Yeah, I've been reading Ultimate Spider-Man. Yes. I'm very happy about. This. I finally got issue one. I had to get a third printing, but I don't care because I want this series. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting for the trade. That, that's cool. yeah. Duke. Duke. I awesome. gotta, gotta love GI Joe. King Spawn. I got Spawn, King Sp- uh, Spawn, and Scorch. They're all awesome, particularly with, like Brett Boots art. Yeah. Ram V's Detective, which. It's weird. Hey, what's up, Nick? It's weird, but it's actually pretty decent. Brave and the Bold, which at least... Here's my problem with these anthology books. It's called Batman the Brave and the Bold, right? Yeah. They have they, they had an issue where there was only one Batman story. In Batman, the Brave and the Bold. Well, that's called Brave and... Well, the thing you gotta realize, Jared, that's a, that's a very brave and bold decision of them to make. Yeah. <laughs> I got this new... F- 52 trade of Catwoman r- r- written by Anne Nocenti, which I've been enjoying. Green Lantern Rebirth. It's the one the only re- I love the that only- one. This is the only rebirth book I like because it's Jessica Cruz and Simon Baz. Mm-hmm. Great, you know, one of the best characters created by Ethan Minskyver. Yeah. By the way, we're not going to talk about um. A- a- X-Men on this show. We'll talk about it on CLD tomorrow, but there's a lot of Ethan Van Skyver characters in that episode. But anyway. I love X-Men so so let, let's just say Ethan Van Skyver. Yeah. Well, let's just say Ethan probably has enough money to buy another reasonably priced comic. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So it actually says, only comics I have on my list are G.I. Joe, Red Sonja, and Kong, um, The Great War. Yes. And by the way, I read God- Godzilla of Kong versus the Justice League. They Green Lantern makes a Megazord with the other lanterns. That's that so is, cool. And we finally got the Batmac. Finally. Awesome. So, Claudia, what comics are you rating, my friend? I've started reading this. Ah, volume one. Grant! Grant Morrison's Action Comics Volume 1. I've started reading this. I'm loving it so far. I'm already picked up my next trade paperback, which is going to be Secret Origins because I'm a huge Superman fan. There you go. Uh, I'll be reading the full, like, I'll be reading this, Volume 2, Volume 3, and I'm going through all the comics. Um, And then I'll be picking up Kingdom Come because I think Kingdom Come is a great comic to pick up. And I'll also be picking up, hopefully, Superman Brainiac. 
Yeah. Oh, I love that book. I do want that book. I do There's this great line in it where so Supergirl uses her X-ray vision and looks at Cat Grant and goes, "Why is there a bunch of plastic in you?" And then someone drops. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> I you love see, that moment. The reason the reason why I'm picking it up is not only because of Superman Unbound the animated film, but because there was going to be a movie. video game. Mm-hmm. Because there was going to be a video game on it. That's uh, why yeah. I'm picking it up. And oh, by the I way, by the way, Nick brings up a good point. The reason why the, there was only one Batman book because originally it was called The Brave and the Bull, but the Batman portion was added later when B Man proved to be the most popular, popular character. Yeah, yeah. That is true, and, and yes, the, 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 that is the origin of the best version of Superman. Yeah, new big suit origin. So, so Nick, what comics are you enjoying, or do you want to uh, shill? I've, I've, I've been reading uh, Batman '89. Kind of knee deep in my own comics, uh, really. We're actually should be finishing up Ink soon. Kind of gear oh, it up. Sweet. So, like, yeah, I've been more, more, more making comics rather than reading them lately. And editing them. So if any of you guys need a comic book editor, Nick mm-hmm. is your guy. He's editing my book currently. He's giving me fantastic have, feedback on that. I have very reasonable rates. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there you go. So uh, Tavia, how about you? Besides Super Sons, what are you reading? You can't mention Super Sons on this. Dang. Okay, but <laughs> okay, so I can't read the next thing. But um, I've been reading Over Spy Man. I love that book. There you go. Right it's ever been so bad. It's been done with crazy. Why? Why can't I make this book? It's not that hard. Yeah. It's Tevia, Tevia, this book is selling so well that they, 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 they could end up saying, Make this if we could have more of this. Because I, I I said this in my review. I was like, this is going to be making whoever's playing the Spider-Man books very nervous. Because the classic yeah. status quo is more popular. Yeah, more popular than your terrible, zebbled, non-demon thing of sense. But um, besides that, yeah, another book I've been reading. Well, I, I got to the comic show last week. Last week. Doom writing. I love this book. I mean, because you know me. Oh, it's Superman. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that and probably it's a secret to- Go to call my favorite book ever, but I love doing writing. Yeah. Plus, it, it created all the back of my action comics from um, yeah. Peter Day. I okay. love the story. Yep, it's amazing. Doom writing is a great sequel to Gordon Coy, and it's a great book. I love the story. I admit it. Yeah, if you like a coward Superman. Well, th- <laughs> yeah, you like a coward Superman. Yeah. Well, I, I have exactly to bring that up. I'm sorry, Kevin. I have to be the a hole there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I got it. I got it. Yeah. Let's see what young, young, young yeah, yeah. Nice, of course. Yeah. I'm reading so Superman Speeding Bullet. Nice. That's nice. That's Is that the one where Batman becomes Superman? Yes. Yeah. The ah, Superman yes. becomes Batman. Yep. Um, but oh, another yeah. book I've been reading, mm-hmm. Jeremy and Green Lantern book. That book's been awesome. Oh my gosh, that book is awesome. Yeah. Wow. Like, like holy shoot. Like that book is going to overdone the United Press. Turns out they're evil. Oh no, 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 but what? dude, combine that with Green Lantern War Journal, and it's this is a fantastic time to be a Green Lantern fan, dude. Like, yeah. wow. Warzone, I've not been reading, but I didn't hear it's good. I'll probably It's so it. good. It's Philip K. Johnson. It better be good. Yeah. yeah I agree. I'm saying. Another book I've been reading, Sinister Sons. Now, okay. Sinister Sons is up in Green Lantern. It does connect. Green Lantern and Sinister Sons do connect. Okay. It, I figured because uh, the setup for the S- S- Sons was the backups, right? Yes, it was seven green engine, that's true. It's seven backup. But the book is actually fun. Yes, it is super sound wave, it kind of sort of, but it's more like the villains. More general general's son and Sinestro son, but they're so funny. They're both like, trying to fight each other. It's hilarious. But Tavia, the issue with that is that, see, the reason why... Super Sons got a fan base is because it was Batman, Superman's son hanging out. That's they true, could, yeah. if they were doing Sinister Sons, they could have at least picked two villains who who team up regularly. Zod and Sinestro, I've never seen them share a book. Yeah, that's true. They, they haven't had a team up either. But at that's why it doesn't I work. I would love, really love to see my favorite thing with Terrence Young and it's about Sinister Sons. Because oh, I, I have an idea. What? Um, what if it's Black Manta and Ocean Master's sons? There you go. See, there you go. That could work. Well, they hang out. Um, Black Manta's son is, is Aqualad. He's not a villain. So... He turns into a villain. Well, kind of, yeah. But he's an undercover. He has, no, another, they... he has another son. With another son that no one's mentioned before. They pull a Jace Fox. They have another son that no one's mentioned before. Yeah, th- th- there we go. That could actually work. 
That the equipment is reading audio, Marvel Dark Ages. That's the yeah, one where they take away Marvel all technology book. from the Marvel Universe. It's so good. Like, wow. Like, Tom Taylor and on yet, Elseworlds books is fan freaking tastic. And yes, somehow Iron Man still way. managed to, to make a suit. Yeah, somehow he did. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yep. Brown says he he's reading Ultimate Spider-Man again. P Peter, uh, Randy says Peter and MJ are the anti Lois and Clark. Oh, so they're tolerable. Good. Yeah. Uh, um, Sinestro and Black Adam would be a great comic. They're friends. See, that I could see. That I can see if you haven't. Yeah. Um, but two two more books mm -hmm. I have been reading. Um, yeah. Um, the main streamer book I've been reading by um Dr. Morgan, I'll do good. Action comics. Okay. The last arc, the bizarre arc, was disappointing because what? I said you end up as all like, what disappoint any of that all good. However, yeah, like, how the good. brand on the other hand, holy shit, that book is good. That book is amazing. How the brand part one? Awesome. Uh, I, 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 I have to pick that up. Yeah. I've also been reading the Tom King Wonder Woman book. Oh, why? This week's yeah. issue was just Superman and Wonder Woman hanging out, and it was awesome. Oh yeah, he, he, he get the, the, so the idea they take a break from the whole sovereign stuff, and it's Batman's birthday, and Superman and Wonder Woman go to a space mall to pick out a, a birthday present for Batman, and then they end up having like a mall trip and stuff. They end up um, having a conversation about stuff, and like Superman basically offers to help with the sovereign. He goes, "You know, you can always call on me to help." And then he goes, and then she goes. It's an Amazon problem. Uh, I'll deal with it the Amazon ways, but I appreciate it, Clark. He even yeah. says, are you sure? Because it's the American way, and, that, and that's one of my three things. Isn't that funny how they changed the American way, and now they're bringing it back? Yeah, that is funny. Uh, I, I guess maybe they got enough uh, backlash. Earth 1, Superman, and Green Lantern, both fantastic. The Earth, oh, uh, again, Earth 1 had so much potential, but no, they didn't. I'm why, currently why reading it's been Earth 1. I don't get it. They could have. I'm currently reading the Warlord of Mars Omnibus after I finished that. I'll read Kazar Savage Dawn. Nice. Nice. Kazar. Fear and the Fury. That's what they could call it. That's a good name. I like that. That's good. Or like just Baby Calabac hanging out with like Baby Scott Free. So it's like the new sons. Yeah, the new sons and new guys. There you go. My honest take is that new for 52 Superman storyline was the Best can storyline until the truth. Yeah, until the uh, truth. truth was so bad. I hate that. Guess story. who uh, implemented that, Tevia? Your boy Tomasi. You know that sounds like Dang. quite the ultimatum. Yeah. Okay. I will make you go down. I'll, I'll, I'll give you. Done. You gotta give me that, Tevia, because uh, yeah, like, that was dang, Superman, <laughs> and he pissed off an entire fan base with, with the whole Super Wonder take. So here you go. Yeah. But I, I, mean, I let, think let, you know. Let, yeah, Greg. Let's be on, Let's be honest. It's still a better love story than Twilight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lois and Clark is a better love story than Twilight. And that says yeah, a lot for no me context. to say that. So I think it's a good place to leave it, gentlemen. This is a fun stream. So Taladia, where can we find you and what have you got coming out on your channel? So you guys can follow me on YouTube at uh, well on Twitter at Teladia Plays underscore and on YouTube at Teladia Plays. On my channel, I will be doing a live stream with Jared as I'm going to be interviewing him on Saturday uh, at 4 p.m. Eastern uh, as we're going to be talking about his channel and a few different things. Uh, I believe next week I'm going to be doing a member stream and yes, it's for members only as we, we're going to be doing a Lego Batman movie watch along and that's, what, that's the plan. Woo! So I will be doing that and also I will be doing a live stream in maybe the next couple of weeks, um, when we're talking about the Superman game, uh, just you know, giving my honest opinions on it, and gonna be not misquoted by people, by the way, because I have been misquoted, so I'm gonna put it out there right That's now. That's just right, it, my friend. Yes. So guys, let me don't add them. Let me add them. Yeah. So I'm gonna put things right and tell the people the honest truth in that stream. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Uh, so for me, uh, so for, for Super Wonder L L Legacy, Britt and I are going to be discussing the storyline Justice League of America, Power and Glory from, from the New for 52 by Brian Hitch. And we're going to be actually combining it to talk about what was the, uh, it was the the arc in Justice League Rebirth w w when the kids of the Justice League show up. Oh, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I know that. Fun fact. 
that was originally going to show up at the end of Power and Glory. There, there's supposed to be more arcs, and Hunter was actually supposed to be Superman and Wonder Woman's son. Really? Thank yeah. Wow. Uh, so we got that commentary. I'm thinking about what well, I want to do. Same point in two case, but tomorrow. Oh, 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 well, actually, not tomorrow. On Saturday, we are going to be discussing Catwoman, the movie. Yes. Yeah, so Talati oh, has to God. watch it again. He has, he has to, to watch, watch it. Talati has to watch it again because I know I told him he has to watch it for April Fools, but he didn't complete the movie. <laughs> because that's because you started to stream it. That's I had to watch some Marvel. I gave you a Talia. deadline and said, watch it by this time. I'm starting the stream. <laughs> not, my you you not my fault you need p better time management skills, sir. But just remember, I was doing Ramadan at the time, too. So I know. You couldn't wa 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 watch it installments as soon as you knew you were assigned to it. No, because I was I was tired. Remember, well, I, I I fast all day. I don't eat anything all day. So all right, yeah. all right, all right. Well, well, like this way, you'll get no sympathy for me because I had to watch Blank Man. Do you have any idea <laughs> what watching Blank Man does to a man? Thanks, Nick. You you have any idea of the psychological trauma I had to abide by watching that movie? Jared is, Jared is going to be in therapy for years. Exactly. Wait, 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 yeah, Josh Whedon Justice League almost killed Henry Cavill's career, and it came from him. He almost, he said that. I know. Yeah. Well, did you see that Netflix, uh, when promoting Henry Cavill, said he started Superman and Man of Steel, the highest grossing Superman movie ever. Nice. <laughs> like, yeah. But anyway, so in terms of next week's movie night, we could either – so an option that I have, and we haven't re really hammered down what we're going to cover – we could cover Generation X, that really bad X Men movie. Oh yeah, that's yeah, yeah, back interested. to the. Huh? I'm not interested. All right, there was uh, well anyway uh, th 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 that was like a suggestion for the movie. Uh, Dave says uh, Jared watched Super by James Gunn. If you have, no, I, no. I I watched part of it. I couldn't get through it because I'm sick and why. Every time James Gunn does a movie, there's all these bad jokes. It just further made me concerned for Superman, honestly. You know, like, we should wow. cover Mutant X one of these days. Again, yeah. Thing. But so we'll announce probably on CLD next week about uh, what the last um, movie night of April is going to be. But anyway, we do also have CLD tomorrow at 10 where we talk about all the news. We'll be talking about... A little bit more about Snyderverse and animation, maybe, or not, or like the, the Superman logo. The point is, we'll, we'll be just hanging out. So, mm -hmm. uh, Tavia, how about you, sir? Yeah, um, as a mean, you know, I, um, I, I'll, I'll be at the coming at the uh, weird new that came out today, the Open Spider Man preview. Kind of said we got a new about Open Dr. Octopus. I do a tell with that at the uh, make that video A to B. Um, but as I am coming out, I'll be reviewing the, the, my favorite book, Doom Breaker, because I love the story. I'll be this and that in the future. Hoping that if I could be out of it this week, again, try to bring it in that one. But um, as for any other coming channel, um, last week I viewed the first Omen, a very good horror movie, a good prequel to the Omen. Shocking enough, I never found a movie to be good. I was wrong. The, the first Omen was good. Uh, it was a good movie. Um, but then, next coming week, I'll be reviewing Monkey Man, a good act, an action movie I heard that's good. I'll be reviewing that movie this weekend, I think. Maybe. Probably another one. Um, but I think I'll also be reviewing the Spy X family. Hopefully next week. Maybe. Hopefully if we get if my, my if my blood birthday coming up. But if I can't review that, I'll be Civil War. Not Captain America Civil War. The other Civil War, the movie came out this weekend. It's A24. A24 movie. Um today and I I also uh watching the Rise of Learning. Good game. Hard as heck and frustrating, but I think that's all I got coming out. Of oh, wait, that's not true. I, I, oh, wait, no, there's one more thing. I viewed um, Open X Men this week. I viewed okay. Open X Men this week. Well. And I gotta be honest with you guys. Open X Men, with two issues in, it's boring. Nobody's having it. Like, what the heck is going on Open X Men? I don't get it. Ugh. Maybe it'll get better, but 
who knows? My ex-friend everybody go with that book so boy. Church is in, nothing's happening. But we'll see. But and then, we'll see uh, if it picks up. Yeah. Um but other than that, I think that's all I got uh, coming out coming out to pull my channel. Alright, alright. So stay at work, everyone. And oh, the, the Dave Hasselhoff and Nick Fury movie. That's an option. We'll talk about this. So mm-hmm. stay at work, everyone. See you later. Lois Lane is Lois Lane. She belongs to General Zod. Zoe's for life. And by the way, that was being spread on, on, on direct. That a super wonder fan said that. And I'm like, it's me. It's me. <laughs> That's see funny. You guys it's Zoe's time. I attacked. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> see you later, everyone.